Hi, I'm Dean with Old English Outfitters, and today we're going to be talking about the Beretta A300 Ultima Patrol in Tiger Stripe. So this is a new offering from Beretta for this year. Uh, this is made as sort of a budget version of the Beretta 1301, that tactical shotgun that has swept the market the last few years because it is so lightweight, so reliable. That there's a lot of things going for it, pretty much everything except for the price tag. So Beretta was very smart to come out with sort of a budget version that has a few key things left out, but still delivers essentially the exact same shotgun. So we're going to talk about the differences and what's good about this gun here. So just to start, basic overall specs, this is a 19-inch barrel. It does have interchangeable chokes. They are internal. They're not external chokes. This does come with a 7-shot magazine tube, and that is an extended tube. That was not always offered on the 1301, though they are offering them now with extended tubes. This one comes with one from the factory. Uh, you also have a clamp on either side that comes with M-lock and QD slots, so right and left-hand side, so it is ambidextrous. The handguard here is slightly different than the 1301. I would argue that it's better. Uh, it has the exact same texture, but it feels just a little bit more ergonomic. kind of feels my hand better, me personally. And it comes with M-lock slots at the 3, 6, and 9 o'clock, which the 1301 does not. So you don't have to get a new rail uh, or any kind of weird jerry-rigged attachment if you want to put a light on this. It already has M-lock slots included. So that is a really good improvement. Now, the main difference between the two is going to be that the uh, Ultima Patrol does not have the blink recoil system. So you can distinctly see, if you look at a picture of the 1301, uh, it has a, number one, a very high polished bolt. The rear is treated, but it has a camming, uh, high polished chromed bolt head. So that cams into place similar to uh, like an AR-15 bolt carrier and locks into the chamber, unlocks when the bolt is moving to the rear. Uh, the blink system is possibly one of the best semi-auto recoiling systems for a shotgun. It's very lightweight and it cycles very quickly. So most people won't be able to notice or run a shotgun fast enough to be able to tell the difference. Uh, the only thing you would be able to tell as soon as you shoot it is it gets off your shoulder faster. Uh, some of these guns, specifically in heavy load 12 gauge, you can feel the bolt kind of slam the rear of the gun and recoil into you and lag and then go back into battery. Whereas the Blink system, it feels more akin to uh, like a semi-auto rifle, again, like an AR-15. It's, it's on and off. It's back into battery very quickly, so it gets off your shoulder faster. Uh, the stock is very similar to the 1301. Uh, it does come cut for spacers if you do want to space the stock out for different lengths of pull. Uh, same kind of diamond texturing on the grip and on the forend. Really good and aggressive. I would not feel the need to change that with stippling. Uh, I really think that tactical shotguns need to have aggressive grips because you need to have a really firm hold of them uh, with as much recoil as they can have with certain loads. So that's great. I, I wouldn't feel the need to change that. It's very aggressive and, and bitey. Uh, the recoil pad is, it's nice rubber, but it's pretty stiff. There's not a lot of give to it. Uh, it's tacky, so it is going to stay on your shoulder no matter what you're wearing. If you're wearing uh, so like a windbreaker or something that has a lot of slippage, uh, it's going to stick on there pretty well, uh, but it, it doesn't have a lot of give. Now, with a, a semi-auto shotgun, not hateful, uh, but just a lot of people like a really soft recoil pad. So this one does not have one. It's, just, it's very firm rubber. The Ultima Patrol has more of a standard recoiling system. Now, they, the Beretta calls this an angled semi-auto system or an angled bolt recoil system. It works very similar to a lot of other semi-auto shotguns on the market, but that helps you keep the price down a lot. Uh, still works well. It's cycled brand new out of the box. It cycled double lot slugs and also ounce and an eighth birdshot loads. So all of the ones that are pretty common to cycle in semi-auto shotguns, some, however, will have problems with that birdshot, uh, specifically if you get ounce or lighter. Uh, this one seemed to cycle everything just fine. Moving on to the controls of the gun, uh, you have that very nice 1301 uh, bolt release. Uh, that is one of my favorites on the market. It's not a button, it's actually a lever. So anywhere you press on this, you do get a lot of leverage and positive engagement or disengagement of the bolt lock. So that is really nice. Pretty much you smack that anywhere on the bolt release and the bolt will fly home. Uh, the bolt handle is a very nice size. It's pretty easy to get too small or too large on a semi-auto shotgun. And I would argue that this is just right. It is cut to add some texture to it. 
it cycles very well. I didn't have any problem with it in gloves either, though sometimes I do prefer an oversized bolt knob. If you're going to be running a shotgun and doing reloads and stuff, it is just nice to have a lot more surface area, like the uh, the 1301 that's our personal gun that has a GG and g oversized uh, bolt knob that has knurling on it. So that's very easy to run the bolt with that particular handle. Uh, the safety is similar to the 1301, but this is just a, a round push button. The 1301 has a, a button on one side and kind of a chevron shield shape on the other. So it is only able to be put in one way or the other. This is kind of an, an oval shape. Still very positive, very easy to engage and disengage. Uh, trigger, this is a tactical shotgun. We don't need to talk about trigger pull. It's not heavy, it's not too light, it's a shotgun trigger. Uh, finally, moving on to the sighting system that it comes with. So you do get, very similar to the 1301, you get a ghost ring rear installed and a tower front sight. This one is a fiber optic front and then it has ears to protect the fiber and just the front sight blade. It comes with the Picatinny rail, stock from the factory and then we have a Holosun 508T mounted on top here with a, a Picatinny adapter mount. Very good. Uh, it was very accurate. We shot slugs out to 50 yards uh, with no problem on a man-sized silhouette. Overall, I really like the gun. I, I think it was a smart idea uh, because the, like I said before, the 1301, everyone loves the 1301 tactical. It's regarded as possibly the best tactical shotgun um, competing with the Benelli M4, which is just a lot heavier of a gun. So the 1301 is a lot lighter, easier to run around with. But having personally shot, and again, this the 1301 that you see in the B-roll is, is our personal gun. I really love the 1301. It's just nice. Not everyone can afford that price tag. And it, with inflation and everything, it's, it's going nowhere but up right now. So it's nice that Beretta is introducing Budget may not necessarily be the right word, but uh, a cost savings model that doesn't have all the bells and whistles, uh, just a baseline model if you want to use car terminology, right? You don't need the, the leather seats and all this and the upholstery and everything. You just need the base model of the car. And that's what you get with the A300 Ultima Patrol. You get the same functionality, reliability, ergonomic size, weight, and all that. It just doesn't have all the bells and whistles. Still very functional and an excellent shotgun. So 10 out of 10 for me. I think it's great that Beretta is doing this and they are actually available. Beretta is not the best at shipping shotguns, but these are available pretty much everywhere in very limited quantities right now. So we really like this and we really appreciate it. Uh, big shout out to our customer, Seth. He loaned us this gun after he bought it for us to do a review on it. So thank you to him. He let us shoot the heck out of it after we mounted up the dot and everything for him. So big shout out to him for letting us have this for review. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. In addition, we do have an Instagram, OE Outfitters, so go over there and give us a follow if you like. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.